Tuesday, everyone. We are continuing with the round robin games for for the Trust Frenzy Tourney. So yeah, let's check out the standings and let's get into the games. I think it was like 18 games today or something like that. Duflaka's last dab, still undefeated, winning by an average of 20.8.6 wins, no losses. Kyrebs and Labolers both with 5 wins and 1 loss. Labolers winning those close games, plus 2.7 only, but 5 wins and 1 loss. And way at the bottom, Commission's Choice and Willful Flow with just one win. We'll see if this um, stand, if the standings get shaken up with today's stream, maybe. Maybe to fuck us last staff will get their first loss of the season. We'll see. Or, or first loss of the round robin. So yeah, eight games here, followed by nine, so that is 17, and eight more. Okay, so 25 games in total on today's stream. Let's start with the first one. We got Commissioner's Choice. We need our second win here. But unfortunately, we are going against a really strong Last Dance team who is favored here. Let's see if we can take down here Jordan. <clears throat> Not looking good for us so far. <laughs> hey, FOG. Um, yeah. Uh, I'd hope so, but maybe not in this game. Mm, almost a 50 point loss. Damn. 124 to 80. Last dance gets to 500. They are 4 and 4. Commission's choice now 1 and 6. Best game score going to here. Jordan, who else? 41 points, 3 rebounds only. 1 assist, 2 steals, 15 of 25 from the floor. Yeah, let's just move on to the next game. We got Le Ballers going against FOG. FOG, your team here favored. Let's see how it goes. Le Ballers currently 5 and 1. FOG 4 and 2. I think I'm um, yeah. a bit too wide here. Okay, this is better. Mm, nice close game. Another close game for the Boris team. Let's see if they can close this one out. Ooh, they went cold there for a bit. Pulled back now. Two point game minute. 35 to go. Wake hits a low post shot. We are tied with 109. Still left. Long shot for the triple for Effigy's team. Shot rims out. Labors with the defensive rebound. Hound putting up a triple here. Hound currently ooh, awful shooting. One of eight and misses this one as well. Also Westbrook with the defensive rebound. Non-fungible chops with the low post shot. And gets foul two free throws coming up for non-fungible chops. Hasn't taken any free throws today. Let's see how it goes. Makes the first one, makes the second one. Two-point lead for Effigy's team with 29 seconds on the clock. Hey, Cincy. Free worm. Mid ranger for Labors for the tie. No good. And Effigy gets the ball. Muscle Westbrook gets fouled, makes the first one, misses the second one, so LeBaller is still in the game here. Ooh, costly turnover by Wick, though. This is probably it. Dale and Iverson missed the first free throw that actually makes the second one. Ooh, and Hound 
hits a triple at the buzzer, but it doesn't matter. Lavollers takes a loss here. Both teams now 5 and 2. Final score is 95 to 94. Wassel Westbrook saved the game here. 41 points, 13 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 steals for him. 7 of 15 from Beyond Dark. Next up, Will the Sneak going against Dolo Dude. Will's team favored. Looking like Dolo Dude will get the win here. Strong fourth quarter. And 101 77 is the final score. Dolo Dude now 4 and 4. Will the sneak 4 and 3. Best game score going to Duncan Dolo. The bowler for the captain himself. 27 points, 20 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals, and 2 blocks. 11 of 22 shooting. Next up, Kyle Reps going against Big Baller Energy. Big Baller Energy favored. Let's see if Kyle Reps can get their sixth win. Or Big Baller Energy, their third. Good third, second and third quarter by Kyle Reps puts them up at the start of the fourth. Big Baller Energy trying to come back here. Ooh, Mamballers hits them with the clutch triple and that is game 108 to 102 car Rips gets the win here this game score going to smashing clocks 35 points 14 rebounds two assists four steals on the losing side Jack car now six and one big baller energy two and five next up Maki going against Wolf of Flow. Wolf of Flow favored. Wolf of Flow looking for their second win here. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Didn't have the chance to actually slow it down. Um, well, with the last second shot, Wolf of Flow gets the win. Hadron Swatson with a low post shot. 95 to 94. Wolf of Flow. With the best game score, 20.6 rebounds, 1 assist, and 6 steals. Nice triple-double by timeout. 17 points, 11 rebounds, and 11 assists for them. Moving on, T-Fake 63 going against Mount Cheetah. Mount Cheetah favored. Mount Cheetah with the lead. 
and the lead is growing. Uh, easy win, 38 point win for Mount Cheetah. They win 106, 268, best game score on their team going to Mount Mutombo, 27 points, 20, 17 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, and 3 blocks, 8 of 14 shooting. And yeah, Ricky Spanish, another triple-double here, 21 points, 10 rebounds, 11 assists, 1 block, plus 47 in the game. Might be the biggest plus minus I've seen so far. Next up, traded by Nino going against Flo Tse. Traded by Nino's team favored. Flo Tse with two wins and five losses. Traded by Nino with three wins and four losses before the game here. Flosay's team, a small lead at the half here, 3rd quarter goes to created by Nino, let's see if Flosay can pull it back, they do, they take the lead, a nice close one, let's get under a minute and just as I say, created by Nino hits 3 triples and that puts the game kind of out of reach because Flose keeps missing. Yeah, 97 to 90, created by Nino gets the win, 4 and 4. Ding with the triple double, the best game score going to Stadman Dunk Monkey. 29 points, 17 rebounds, 1 assist, 4 steals and a block, 12 of 26 shooting from the floor. Next up, the only undefeated team to Flocka's last dab going against Sequoia Sasquatch. Sasquatch favored. But a strong first quarter from the Flocka's last dab, 31 to 23. Yeah, to pluck us team too nasty. They start missing here. Third quarter looks to be going the way of the Sasquatch. Oh. Pluck us last tap. They pull it back. They go on a run here. Prince Carter, one of two. Four point lead. Team Some Girl makes two. 95 to 93. To Plucka has fouled out here. With six fouls with a minute to go and a close game. Bobby Digital on the free throw line makes the first one, makes the second one. We are tied with minute 15 to go. Jack me off, puts up a triple, no good. Juliet Nichols grabs a defensive rebound. Prince Carter gets the steal though for to pluck his last dab and Dandy. 2-1-1-2, puts up a triple, no triples tried today, this one doesn't go, Prince Carter with the offensive rebound, 9-0-2-1, H-O, 5 of 8 so far from beyond the arc, and she hit this one, no good, 5 of 9 now, Pippen with the defensive rebound for the Sasquatch, Ricky Rocket elevates 4 shot at the rim, slams it down, and Team Sun Girl gets the assist here. 26 seconds, two point game. 9021 HO tries another triple. This one's good with 19 seconds to go. To Flocka's last tap takes a lead, a one point lead. 98 to 97. Team Sun Girl with the low post shot. Ooh, the shot rims out. They got a foul now. Yeah, Prince Carter getting sent to the free throw line. Prince Carter not known for. He's shooting 0 of 11 in today's game. Um, 2 of 4 from, from the free throw line. Makes the first one, makes the second one, makes the shots when when they are needed. Bobby Digital to Chai and send it to OT. Puts up a triple. 
Holy cow. Hasn't hit the triple so far today. This one goes, and to OT we go. But unfortunately for Duplaka's last dad, without Duplaka. Let's see what happens here when we get to a minute mark. Prince Carter gets those offensive rebounds. How many offensive rebounds so far? Four offensive. Duplaka actually had more. Interesting. Uh, Three-point lead with a minute to go, and it just got erased by Dim Sum Girls Triple. We are tied 112 to 112 with minute 11 on the clock. 902 HO triple, no good. Another offensive rebound by Prince Carter, though. Andy, low post shot, shot rims out. Team Sum Girl gets a defensive rebound. Pippen puts up a triple. Three of eight so far. Make it four of nine. 115 to 112. And 40 seconds to go. Prince Carter elevates for a shot at the rim. Layup is good. Back to a one point game now. Sasquatch on top. Team Sum Girl elevates for a shot at the rim. Slams it home. The Sasquatch can't. Can't miss currently. Jack me off. Elevates for a shot at the rim. They don't go for a triple with 17 seconds to go. They go for the layup. They get that one to go down. Sasquatch up 117 to 116. Wreck it, rocket. Disastrous move. Turns the ball over with 14 seconds to go. Andy 2112. Puts up another triple late here. Missed the first one. Two today. Oh, and the shot rims out that probably would have given them the win here. Yeah, the Flocka's last step to take the first L here. 117 to 116 in an overtime game. Sasquatch with the third win. Best game score goes to the Flocka, who, who didn't play in OT though. 38 points, 14 rebounds, 5 assists, and 2 block 16 of 31 shooting. So let's take a look in the standings. So Duplaka's last dab and car rips currently tied with the record. 6 and 1 for both of them. FOG and Le Ballers, 5 and 2. And then we got the Commissioner's Choice way at the bottom here with one win and six losses. Huh. Continue with the games. So this is day two out of three. Defake 63 going against Commissioner's Choice. Commissioner's Choice favored. Come on, we gotta get our second win here. Good first quarter from us. 34 to 22. We locked down the second quarter as well. 36 to 16. Pink Lady showing up. Another... <laughs> the wins we have are like... Plus 40 points, but yeah, need more of them. 125, 284, Commission's Choice gets the win. Best game score going to Pink Lady, dropping 40 points, 23 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal on them. 6 of 11 from Beyond Dark. Yeah, both teams here, 2 and 6 now. Mount Cheetah going against Flose. Flose favored. Both teams not playing their sixth man in the first quarter. Mount Cheetah with a small lead at the half. Well, well not that small, nine point lead. Jose trying to pull back. They need a miracle.
Miracle. We are down by 13, midway to the fourth, and that Miracle unfortunately doesn't come. 100 to 86, Mount Cheetah with the win. Best game score going to Ricky Spanish, who doesn't drop a triple double in this one. 27 points, 5 rebounds, 14 assists, and 2 steals by Ricky. 8 of 13 from the 4, 5 of 8 from beyond the arc. Moving on to Big Baller Energy going against Wolf of Flow. Wolf of Flow favored. We are tied midway to the third. Wolf of Flow with a three point lead heading into the fourth quarter. They keep hanging on now. Big Baller Energy, couple of buckets, and they're right back in the game. Just a two point deficit. Professor C ties the game up. Still tied at 101. See JPEG Morant on Big Baller Energy trying a low push shot. It's good. 103 to 101. Two point lead for Big Baller Energy. Timeout tries a low push shot to tie it. Shot rims out, unfortunately, and knocks the ball out of smashing clocks. Okay, okay. We might get a. Nope. They don't get another shot up. So Wolf of Flow taking the L here. Big Baller Energy with the win. 103 to 101. Best game score on the losing side. 22 points. 13 rebounds. 2 assists. 2 steals. 6 blocks by Hadron Swatson. 9 of 15 from the floor. The Ballers and Will the Sneak. Will the Sneak favored. Will's team 4 and 3. The Ballers team 5 and 2. Let's see if the Ballers can keep it close. They lose the first two quarters, they win the third one though. Still behind by seven points with four minutes to go. They will seem not loving them close. 89 to 79. Both teams now with five wins and three losses. Best game score on the winning side. We got Santa at the All-Star Bowler, 31 points. 10 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, and a block. Ooh. Yeah, we see 15, 5 of 25, just chucking them up. Not sure why. Trying to keep his uh, scoring averages up. Sequoia Sasquatch going against Car Whips. One of the six and one teams. Car Whips favored. Sasquatch just got a really good OT win against Duplaka's last tab in the last one. Can they keep the momentum going? Yeah, 7-1-0, that was a rough game for you. If Tuflaka didn't foul out, you probably would have won. Sasquatch not replicating their success from the last game. And this one, Carwebs gets the win. 106-288, they are 7-1. Sasquatch 3-6. 
the scheme score on the losing side. Pippen, 28 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1 steal. Effigy against Maki, and Effigy's team is favored. FG looking for their 6th win, Maki's team looking for their 5th, Maki takes the lead early in the 4th and Stretch Monroe with the dagger FG's team tried to get closer, they got to, to 3 points there but couldn't close it out 113 to 110. Ooh, Cyborg Rachel, yeah. With the best uh, scoring effort so far. 52 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, 9 of 15 from Beyond Dark. I mean, Cock Diesel with a nice triple double to try to keep up, at least in the um, 3 pointer category. The effigy now five and three, monkey five and four. Next up, last dance going against created by Nino. Created by Nino, favorite here. Tingling, ice cold from Beyond Dirt. But the team is still up. Here, Jordan trying to carry the last dance team. Only one with a double, double digit game score, and it wasn't enough. Really, Panino gets to win 94 to 87. This game score going to graded by Nino's Studman Dunk Monkey. 36 points, 17 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, and 3 blocks. Next up to Flucka's last dab going against So Long and thanks for all the NFTs. So Long and thanks for all the NFTs. They are favored in this one. Looks like the Flocka's last tab bounced back from that horrible last game, at least in the first quarter here, winning it 39 to 14. The Flocka's last tab, they definitely they are a first quarter team. Yeah, easy win for them here. 104 to 72, they are now 7 and 1. Best game score going to who else? To Flocka. 39 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 blocks. 12 of 27 shooting. One more game here on day 2 before we move on to day Three Wiggle and the Bros going against Dolo Dude. Dolo Dude favored. Let's see if Ike Rapino can put up another big performance. I think he's like third in scoring. Okay, we're going to pros to take a five point lead midway to the fourth quarter. And 
that lead keeps growing. Not a good day for Ike Rapino, but Wiggle and Pros get the win here. 99 to 91. They are now 5 and 3. Dollar dude 4 and 5. Best game score going to Big Wiggle. 34 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 steals. 6 of 8 from B. Beyond Dark there. Okay, let's uh, check out the standings and then do the last 8 games here. To pluck us last stab, Car Whips still both in the lead with 7 wins and 1 loss currently. Lanchita now, 3rd, they have 6 wins and 3 losses. FOG, World and Sneak, Le Ballers, Wiggle Enterprise, they all have 5 wins and 3 losses. At the bottom, teams with two wins. We got Wolf of Flow and Flozay, both with two wins and seven losses. And then Commission's Choice and Deep Fakes, both with two wins and six losses. Let's keep it going. Sequoia Sasquatch going against Le Ballers. Le Ballers favorite in this one. team in the lead at the half they have a strong second quarter here winning it 30 to 19 but here comes the Sasquatch Ooh, owning the third quarter 32 to 12 the ballers now bouncing back we are tied with 547 remaining might be another close loss for the ballers they're down by 5, 24 seconds to go, and they keep missing. DC 15. Doing better with scoring this time, but yeah. Not going to get their win. And this one, Sasquatch gets it. 101, 295. Sasquatch now 4 and 6. The bowlers 5 and 4. Bobby Digital with a monster game. 43 points, 17 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 blocks, 15 of 20 from the floor. Will the Sneak wiggle into pros? Both teams with a record of 5 and 3 here. Will's team favored. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. I'll be right back. And let's speed it up again. Most team pulls ahead in the third. Wiggle into pros unable to come back in the fourth and they take a 16 point loss here. 96 to 80. And best game score going once again to the All-Star. Who gets the triple double here? 29 points. 10 rebounds and 10 assists for Santa. Awful shooting though, 12 of 29. Big baller energy going against Effigy. Effigy favored.
Peak Polar Energy, currently in the lead. Ooh, nice close one. Let's see if Apogee can pull back here. They're down by 8 with 3 minutes remaining. Also, Westbrook hits a much needed triple for them. Down by two. Cock Diesel missing. We'll see one more time. A lot of chances for Apogee's team. But Alex on the other side. Clutch shot 102 to 98. Apogee down by four. Cock Diesel can't hit the low post shot. Also, Westbrook misses a triple, and that should do it. Yeah, Alex, a couple of free throws as well, and yeah, that T3 doesn't matter. B Baller Energy gets the win, 104 to 101. They're now four and one, five. Sorry, uh, F O G five and four. This game score going to the losing side though. Russell Westbrook, 36 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 steals. Next up, Maki going against Deep Fakes. Deep Fakes favored. Great second quarter. They win it 37 to 15. Deep fakes team has to make some shots to pull back here. They win the third quarter. Lot looking good in the fourth though. Ooh. Yeah, Maki just flying in the fourth as well. 103 to 1 to 85. Maki's team 6 and 4. Deep fakes 2 and 7. Best game score going to Goldie Lock. 17 points, 20 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 steals, and 4 blocks. 7 of 12 shooting from the floor. Four more games here. So long, and thanks for all the NFTs going against Wolf of Flow. Wolf of Flow favored. Actually, I shouldn't say that favored thing because it literally doesn't mean anything with uh, rosters of six. It's all about the synergy. Nice close game so far. We are pretty much tied. No, five point lead for so long. And thanks for all the NFTs. Now we're tied again with Midway to the fourth quarter. With a minute left, so long it takes for all the NFTs, take a 5 point lead. Chicken with another bucket for them. And yeah, that is it. So long it takes for all the NFTs, they take their 5th win here. And the Wolf of Flow, their 8th loss. Best game score. The All-Star, 44 points, 15 rebounds, 3 assists, and 6 steals for California King. 7 of 17 from Beyond Dark. Well, this is going to be fun. Uh, yeah, maybe not for us. To flock us last dab going against Commissioner's Choice. Come on, guys. I, I need you all to put in some effort now. Okay, we're doing well. We're not losing by 20 in the first. Tied after the first. Um, okay. 
looking better. We win the second quarter, 32 to 21. To pluck all, all already with five fouls. Ooh, might foul out before the end of the game, and we are choosing to pluck a fouls out. Yeah, GG. Not pressing any blood buttons. Actually, fouling is like turned down so people wouldn't foul out that much. Yeah, this one was very physical. 16 fouls on to Flocka's last stab and 15 foul fouls on us. Anyway, Commission Choice gets to win the third. 111 to 93 to Flocka's last stab, 7 and 2. Commission's choice three and six. Best game score going to Pink Lady. 29 points, 15 rebounds, two assists, three steals, four of eight from Beyond Dark. Two more games. Mount Cheetah against Last Dance. Last Dance might be favored in this one. Now we were what one and six, I think, heading into the day. Mounchita with the lead and they close it out. 103, 293. Mounchita seven wins, three losses. Last dance, four wins and six losses. Best game score going to the losing side. We got Kamora Rays with a pretty nice stat line. 18 points, 24 rebounds. 5 assists, 5 steals, 4 blocks, almost a 5 by 5, missed it by, by 1 block here. The last game on today's stream, Car Rips, the 7 and 1 team going against Flose, who are a 2 and 7 team. If Car Rips wins here, here they will... in the lead in the standings Flose trying to spoil it down by 20 though heading into the fourth quarter not looking good for Flose's team yeah easy win for Kyle Riffs 113 290 they are eight and one flows a two and eight best game score going to mr incredible xii 35 points 17 rebounds two assists one block 15 of 20 shooting five or six from beyond dark and let's check out the standings before we end the stream so car rips currently on top eight wins one loss to flock us last stab second seven wins and two losses there and mount cheetah third with seven wins and three losses at the bottom hey commission's choice we won two in a row it's your ever still everything that matters is the playoffs this is just a build up for it uh defake 63 wolf of flow and flows ace team they are the only three teams with two wins so tomorrow um what three more days one two three Ooh. 26 games tomorrow and then on Sunday we'll close it out with a lot of games the, the round robin here let's check out the award races and 
then we'll end the stream. Duflocka currently still leading the MVP race. Hound second, Cogdiesel third. Defensive player of the year race. We got Prince Carter, so both from from Duplocka's last dab. Uh, followed by Mount Mutombo and Goldilock. Sixth man of the year. Currently it's LNC's Brian Bucket. Everything can change though. So yeah, that is it for, for me today. I'll update everything in the next 20 to 30 minutes on BBL.Center. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow and bye.